Good afternoon, tubers. This video has absolutely nothing to do with this hydroponic system. This one's works. See how I've got that support system is uh, mounted to the actual frame of the Dutch bucket uh, support system, the, the Dutch bucket bench or table, whatever you want to call it. Everything's mounted together and it's pretty sturdy. There's a little dip in it over there, but it's that's steel, it isn't going anywhere. This one, on the other hand, is a real problem. I came out this morning to find the whole support system down. I told you I'd give you the good that comes with uh, what we're doing out here and, and the bad so you don't make the same mistakes. I am in the process of building a system similar to this with some galvanized steel uh, three-quarter inch EMT. I'm running a posts that are supported by the table that the Dutch buckets are sitting on and uh, also mounting that into the actual uh, hard almost like concrete dirt floor with some large spikes to make sure it doesn't slide and I'm going to support it several times in the middle I will show you what that looks like as we go along yeah, that is the voice of somebody who's really disappointed. Those were doing so well. Maybe you won't make the same mistake. Okay, tubers, it's done. You'll see I've got uh, four supports. Uh, and the three-quarter inch galvanized all the way across. I've drilled holes about four inches from the top. Um, this is about 12 feet tall. Uh, 17 foot to the ceiling and uh, I mean I could have taken it all the way up which is a luxury I think that a lot of these greenhouses that you see on YouTube they don't have it's a luxury now be a little tougher to heat this uh, winter with all that extra space but uh, I was able to get it 12 feet tall so I don't have to, you know, I don't have to let them droop. I could actually run them all the way up to the top. Letting them droop would actually make it easier to harvest these things, though. I, I was going to show you this too. This is all the stuff that. These are all the tomatoes that just fell off of the vines when they when this collapsed. That's pretty significant uh, drop in in tomatoes there. I've those. Those would have been nice to have all those as ripe tomatoes, but I'll be giving them away uh, today. It looks like uh, everything's going to survive. We'll see. Uh, that that's up here. I did lose two, but that gave me the opportunity to put the cantaloupe in. Those are there's two cantaloupe I'm going to run on this Dutch bucket system. Um, we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure I'm going to string those up. I may just let those fall. And, and walk the floor I'm not sure um, so that's it basically wanted to show you that I think this would do it I've used nylon string as well to hold them up that uh, twine that I was using in the heat was, uh, was really kind of degrading and it seemed like the twine that I used over on this side did a little better so I went back to that I mean the uh, nylon on this side and this cotton twine that I used over here didn't work so well there you go God bless y'all go play in some dirt we'll see you next time I forgot to show you something tubers while I was uh, working on these plants found a little something That's a mess of hornworms. Not enough to, um, I would be shipping them to somebody, but most of these are dead. I put them in this thing, I guess the heat got them. There's only one or two that's actually moving. I'm gonna feed them to my um, 
my bearded dragon and my water dragon. God bless. This is where these go. He sees it. It messed up and it moved. <laughs>